Hey everybody, Roxabox90 here with an update to the two commander ban lists, one for the multiplayer and one for the dual commander French list. And the first one we have here is the multiplayer ban list announcement for July. Thank you, one of my subscribers pointed it out, I forget who, and thank you for that. This update is pretty boring because we have no changes. They met and had a long discussion about it and they can't seem to find anything that's causing a need for alarm. I myself personally disagree with that. I think that Deadeye Navigator will only continue to get worse the more crazy ETB cards they print, and this card is, besides it being prolific because it's a single color, it's mono blue, and it can fit into any deck running blue, but this guy actively does a lot of damage to the game, as I've said in previous videos, and I think for a multiplayer format, this is particularly egregious, this card. Uh, they apparently have no problem with it still. We'll have to see if maybe they're going to do it, deal with it in the future. And I don't think it's like Prophet of Crufix, who is also absolutely insane, but is multicolor and so is not nearly as prolific in terms of the number of decks it fits into. Uh, the Dual Commander list is a little different. They actually did update and they banned two cards. Dual Commander, for those who don't follow, is a 1v1 format of EDH Commander that has a very different set of criteria and is very differently designed and differently built. The entire game uh, structure is very, very different. And so the banned cards in Dual Commander are absolutely different, for the, almost entirely, than in the multiplayer list. And you can compare the two lists, Dual Commander is different, and that's why these two cards, realize, are not banned in general multiplayer EDH Commander. This is specifically for the Dual Commander list. Aloro is a commander, and Cataclysm is banned as a card. Why? Let's take a look. So Aloro, as a card, the problem, main problem they have with him is that he sits out of play and gives you tremendous amount of life gain. Anything two life at a time doesn't matter, but when you're having 30 life apiece and you're in a 1v1 match, that's a race to kill the other player uh, very quickly, and you have one target, being able to constantly gain life and then play a card draw engine makes him absolutely insane. He's the only commander that does this, where he influences the game long-term, even when he's not in play, and he causes lots and lots of problems for the format. He makes it very unfun, and as a commander, he's causing difficulties in the overall format. That's pretty much the reason they're yanking him out and making him banned. Uh, Edric had a similar problem. While I don't think Alora is quite as prolific nor nearly as broken as Edric is in 1v1, he's still quite a problem. Cataclysm as a card I've used in my Sigarda deck in one, my 1v1 Sigarda deck. You guys can find that link on my channel and here in the video. That card is... This card is really good in Sigarda deck because you play it... And this is the problem with it, is you can play it anytime you want. If you're behind, it resets the field equally. If you're ahead, it puts you in a winning position. And it doesn't just hit one resource. It's not like destroy creatures. It destroys every single resource. It hits enchantments, creatures, lands, artifacts, everything but planeswalkers this card deals with for four mana. It's infinitely stronger than Armageddon in the format, and it has been causing lots and lots of problems. So 1v1, this card is being yanked. Both these cards, realize, are still completely legal in multiplayer format, so if you like them in the multiplayer format, keep them great. Realize as well, both these lists, both the multiplayer list and the dual commander list, they are both entirely uh, casual. And so you can play with cards on either list in your formats, and you can also just play with them regardless of the ban list. You, if you're playing in 1v1 but you want to hold on to the multiplayer list, go for it. Dual commander, you can run by the multiplayer rules. It doesn't really matter. These lists are more of a guideline and for the more competitive side of the format, but for regular players, this is what you have. So for me, I'm happy with the changes. Cataclysm, it's sad because it made me win a lot of games with my Sigarda deck, but I will be finding a replacement since I tend to follow the dual commander list. Let me know your thoughts on the changes to the ban list down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, check in and subscribe for more great magic gathering content coming your way. And as always, Rocks the Box on any signing out. I'll see you guys next time.